Hey, what's up, guys? It's Headsets Modern Warfare here, Gamer to have Banjo Chicken, and welcome back to another Apparition Net video. So, I haven't done an Apparition Net video in a while, but uh, in this episode, we're looking at the Call of Duty World of War and Call of Duty 4 tool that were added um, quite a while ago, actually. I suppose it was a couple of weeks ago. Um, we added the Modern Warfare tool and the World of War tool. Now, the, these tools are the same, like, they're identical. Um, so, I'm just going to be going over World at War because. COD 4 is exactly the same, same tool pretty much in both, except one works obviously for Modern Warfare and one works for World at War. Um, so yeah, you may think World at War, old game, COD 4 is an old game, but you know, Apparition Net is going to be a tool that supports all Call of Duty games, um, so yeah, we need to have World at War and COD 4 in there as well, even though they're old, they are Call of Duty games, and they have some unique features, which is why I think it's worth covering them. Uh, in a separate video. Um, obviously, we're, we've still to add Black Ops 2 and Ghosts in there, uh, which will be coming uh, soon as well. So, let's open up the COD 4, uh, the World at War tool, and obviously you've got to be signed in and everything, you need to be on the game before you launch the tool, that is kind of what you should be, you should be, should be on the game before you launch the actual game tool for that game, in order for it to work properly. And I'll drag it into into view here. So let's start off with the recovery stats. So what you want to do, obviously, is go to Xbox Live. You can see I've, I'm already on max, so I can set prestige to zero and XP to zero, set statistics, and bang, I'm back to level one, zero prestige. Um, so yes, let's say I want to be, let's say I want to cycle my prestige. I can do that, like you can do on all the other. COD tools as well. You can do that while you're searching for a lobby and your prestige will be changing as you're as you're sitting in the lobby, which can freak people out. Quite funny to do just to freak people out there. And you just click it again and it'll stop. Um, on the other hand we've got uh, prestige, so we can set that to say prestige 10 set statistics, goes to 10th prestige or even 11th prestige which is no icon um, so I can set that and it shows me as 11th prestige. Um, so let's go 10th prestige, we'll enter a bunch, of, a bunch of random XP to see if that's enough to put us to 65. Yes it is. Kills, which we'll enters some random, some random entries for the kills. Time played, set statistics, sets it on the console. We can save those statistics to a stat file, customer file. So if you were doing this for you know, a person. Um, if you're doing recoveries for people, then you can save their stats to a customer file. Like, um, you know, I always just call it random stats, but you know, you could save the person's gamer tag as a stat file and then just click on it to to open up those stats and you can edit it. Um, so that is basically the recovery section. Pretty basic, but nice and quick for doing recoveries. Um, we just like like doing this so that we can have people who want to do recoveries can easily just open up the tool for the game type in the stats they want set the statistics unlock all of course as well as in there which will unlock all um, for the game and you've also got the yeah then you can just go on to another game like Modern Warfare 2 open up the Modern Warfare 2 tool and enter the stats for that and it just makes things easier than having to load patch files and loading up mod menus and everything. And having to be host and everything to use it. Whereas you can do all this within the lobby. So it's kind of easier. Um, so moving on to game modifications now. So let's actually, before we go into game modifications, there's an XUID spoofer, which is just like the, like the ones in the other tools. So we can either just change our gamer tag so if you want to just change your gamer tag and you can put it to a certain color like red, then you just expand this little box and spoof only gamer tag, which will just change the gamer tag on screen. The gamer card will still point to your actual profile. And it's as it can say, it says it's spoofed the gamer tag only. If you want to change the whole XUID, so let's go Major Nelson and spoof. And it'll spoof the whole XUID as Major Nelson. So now, if we go into a public match or a private match and view gamer card, when people view your gamer card, it will show the person you spoofed as. In my case, it shows Major Nelson's profile instead of mine. 
So there we go. So that's the XUID spoofer. Full XUID spoofing for this game is working, same as the Modern Warfare Modern Warfare One tool, COD Four tool. Um, we've also got some unique features like the um, Cycle Gamer Tag and Mod Menu Ban Bypass. What a Mod Menu Ban Bypass is basically um, people with mod menus can ban you from their game if you're annoying them with your own mods while in their lobby and they've got a big mod menu open they, they can just ban you so that you can't join back if you enable this you'll be able to join back so it's as simple as that you just enable it and you can join back um, if they ban you from their mod menu and their modded lobby there's also cycle gamer tag this is ridiculous tick this box and just it needs no explanation I mean just look at that absolutely ridiculous the gamer tag just <laughs> I love that I really love that feature it's absolutely amazing just so quickly it just cycles through all the gamer tag like loads and loads of random digits and different colors and it's awesome anyway I just untick it to stop it of course um, so let's start up a game this time so let's go on a good map I like castle castles a nice map so load up castle here and we we'll get it to actually load up setting up game right now we're in so the in-game modifications are pretty basic because you know most people are going to be using mod menus and stuff on this kind of game GSC mods patch files um, ignore the kind of ignore the camo that is on the gun that is just part of my world at war zombie camos that I am um, that I made ages ago on one of my really old videos uh, which is still available if you want these camels there's a gold PPSH camo in it which is quite cool but that's got nothing to do with AppNet so um, with ApparitionNet we've got these sliders for editing different things like you know you can edit your game speed so you can see I can now move much much faster run sprint much faster so you can edit those sliders make you go faster or slower just drag it back and forth time scale is obviously time scale uh, gravity you can reduce the gravity and increase the jump height in order to jump really really high into the air like that oh shit and I should also enable fall damage so that I don't get hurt when I land so if I enable that hopefully I don't get hurt when I land now nope so that's fall damage and friction of course is makes you slide around all over the place so that is basically what we've got in fact if I reduce friction yeah that's it actually you, you put the friction lower to make you just slide I'm not actually moving the stick right now and it's just sliding across the ground um, so let's increase the friction a little bit so it's not too bad Right, so that is basically that. It's got some basic modifications in there for host, but what I do like is the clients, because right here, because we haven't included a lot of options in here, you can add your own, send your own commands to the game. So if there's something that you really, really want that you know works on World at War, um, but it's not in the sliders, then you can enter the command into the send server, server command area. So, for example, I like the physics gravity. Um, so we've got player gravity, which is G underscore gravity, which is already in the tool. It's one of the sliders that lets us, you know, jump really, really high and float in the air. But physics gravity is another one I like, which is other objects in the game. Um, like I, other objects like these cans that are just lying on the ground here. That when you shoot they get affected they move there's this bucket as well you can shoot it off and your body when you die as well can be affected so there's this, this command called phys underscore gravity which is basically physics gravity which i really like editing um so because it's not in the slider i can manually add it in here so if i enter the command phys underscore gravity set the value to zero send command and up on the screen you can see it says sent command phys underscore gravity with the value zero so that sent that command so now if I shoot these 
as you can see, starts floating off into the distance. I love that mod, I love that divar, but because it's not in there, I can just add it in myself and I get the mod working. Same with this bucket, make it float up into the air, and my dead body as well if I, if I down myself here. You can see the body floating up into the air and it's just a cool mod that I like. And So you can do that with any other mod, like say we want wall hack. And I can't see through the walls, but I want wall hack. Then I can enter that command in as well, which is you need to know the dvars obviously. Um, R underscore Z near, set it to 35 for wall hack. Send command. Command R underscore Z near with value 35 was sent. Now, if I walk into the wall, I have wall hack working. So, you know, you can enter your own commands, which is a really nice little feature. As well as that, we've also got send game text, so we can type in something. So let's type in apparition net in green. And I can send middle text. You can see it pops up on the screen there in the middle. Type it again. You can see I keep clicking it. You get apparition net popping up. We can change it to kill feed text, so it shows up in the bottom left right there. And we can also change it to say text so it appears sort of in the top left corner. And normally with say text, if you're using it in kind of save game mods, GSC, um, ISO, or whatever, then they would normally show up with your, your gamer tag as well. So people would know who was sending those annoying text messages. But obviously with Apparition Net, it doesn't show the gamer tag, just the text. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. So that's that. There's also a text spammer. Um, which I don't think we've implemented into COD4 and well it's in, implemented in COD4 only at the moment but we'll be adding it into World of War very shortly. Um, send console commands so you can send console commands as well as server commands and we've also got all clients so you know if you're wanting to send game text you can just send it to yourself like I was doing there or you can send it to all clients and it'll send it to everybody else in the game cheats uh, we've also got cheat packages and clan tags so you can edit your clan tag to one of your the usual clan tags that are forbidden set it and then you've got create your own cheat packages now this is a really cool feature that I love because you can literally create your own modded lobbies out of these cheat packages so I could create one cheat package for an XP lobby and then I can just load that up whenever I'm hosting a game and it would have all the XP DVARs and everything set. Or I could create one for just public cheater if I wanted to go into an online match and just use stealth DVARs um, to win the game and stuff. I could do that. So let's create like a, a custom cheat package and I'll show you guys how it works. So what you've got to do is create a new file on your on your computer and you can share these files with your friends or you can share them on the app net forum so that other people can use the your, the cheat packages that you have created and you can use other people's cheat packages that they have created so let's create one right now so what you want to do is open up notepad on your computer and just enter the dvars that you want into notepad there is a certain syntax that you need for this but I will show it to you guys if I could just, I mean, if you don't know all the DVARs, it's kind of easy. All you have to do is type in like World at War DVAR list into Google, like I'm doing now. So, yeah, let's enter the, let's have some pro mod, okay? So, the pro mod DVAR is CG underscore gun underscore X. And then what you need to do is separate it with a line, uh, which is hold down shift and press the backslash key, and it'll create that and then the value so the value six for the dvar for pro mod then uh there's another let's because we're going to kind of make a stealth package so let's also add our wall hack as well r underscore z near z near and we'll set that to 35 so let's center some other ones. Let's put the laser sight, which is CG underscore laser force on. So we'll enter that one. 
I uh, will also look for what else have we got? I'm looking for the one that shows enemy players from far away which is like the UAV always on. Let's increase the UAV size as well so we can put compass size and I'll change that to 1.2 which will make the uh, HUD in the top left hand corner bigger. Uh, what else can we put in here? Uh, we've also got G compass show enemies 1 which is uh, basically UAV always on which is a good stealth D-bar. Um, so that's quite a few we've got in there and yeah let's just go with that for now you should be able to see the difference so when you've got all the divars that you want and you could have a massive list um, but just for an example we've got a few divars in there so we'll go ahead and file save as we'll save it it needs to be saved as all files and we'll call this world at war um, test package and it needs to be dot inf so make sure you put dot inf afterwards and save and that will create a new file on your desktop called world at war test package dot inf and you can open that in here so if we open file and we look for our world at war package which will be down the bottom here world at war test package where it is so I'll open that cheat package has been installed and literally all I have to do is click on it to activate all those mods that were inside that INF file that we added. So let's just click on it right here. And on the game, you can see all the values that are being set. DVAR, CG gun, laser force on, G compass show enemies. And you can see all the mods have been activated. I've got chrome mod. You can see the visions changed to all shiny chrome vision. You can see the gun, the pro mods worked. You can see the gun is further away from from sight. You can see the compass at the top left has been increased in size. Uh, wall hack was already on anyway, but that's been added. And yeah, basically that's it. You can create your own packages. And if you think about it, you could have a huge list for an XP one that had XP for all the different maps. No, XP for all the different uh, like things that get you XP, like XP per death, per kill, um, and all that kind of stuff per assist. You could have all those XP divars in there along with game speed and low gravity and all that stuff uh, for doing XP lobbies and then you could create another one. In fact, here's our red dot site that we added as well. CG laser force on is the red dot. So we've got that. And this is all online. We can do all of that stuff. So it's basically um, pretty awesome you can do that and you could have another package for stealth divars for doing um, public cheating and stuff like that so yeah even though we haven't included a hell of a lot of options for the lobby options you know you can always add your own commands and add your own cheat packages in there so that you can completely customize everything and you know, like I say you can share these cheat packages with your friends and and on forums and stuff and use other people's cheat packages that they're sharing with you so yeah, it's pretty much completely customizable. And that's it. That is pretty much everything that's in the the World at War tool. And there's also the COD4 tool, which is the exact same stuff in it um, as well. So the COD4 tool has all the stuff the World at War tool has as well. It's exactly the same. So yeah, thank you for checking out this video on the... Call of Duty World at War tool. Sorry, I just have to activate this again because I love it. I just love that. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in my next video.